Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so this is the first of many videos on the Legendre symbol. And uh, the Legendre symbol is something very convenient uh, and useful when working with quadratic residues. So after we introduce it here in this video and future videos, I uh, will show the properties, improve said properties, and then we'll look at Euler's criterion for the Legendre symbol. And then we'll uh, give three examples, at least three examples on how to compute the Legendre symbol for a specific value of a given some prime p. So here, uh, in the denominator of a over p, p is a prime, and this is not like normal division. Uh, we'll talk about the Legendre symbol uh, more, but this is just a representation. It's a symbol that represents the following, uh, which is that we say a over p, uh, the, the symbol a over p will have the value one if a is a quadratic residue mod p. And then it will have the value negative one if a is a quadratic non-residue mod p. And it will equal zero if p divides a. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's uh, the definition of the Legendre symbol, what I just displayed now. Um, and um, yeah, okay. And to, to summarize it a bit more succinctly, this is what we're saying. a over p, which is called the Legendre symbol, uh, will equal one if a is a quadratic residue mod p. It will equal negative one if a is a quadratic non-residue mod p, and it will equal zero if a is divisible by p. Uh, and again, p is an odd prime. Uh, I've said that right here. And um, yeah, so that's every prime except for two. Uh, since we've already uh, worked uh, with uh, the quadratic residues and quadratic non-residues mod seven, recall that we said that four is a quadratic residue mod seven, as is uh, one and two or as are one and two. Therefore, this is what we're saying. In terms of the Legendre symbol, uh, one over seven, right? One over seven will equal one because one is a quadratic residue mod seven. And uh, this will also be the case if we computed uh, two over seven and then four over seven, right? Whereas, uh, Whereas, because there are quadratic non-residues, we're saying uh, we're saying that uh, three over seven will equal negative one, because three is a quadratic non-residue mod seven, and so similarly, we're saying five over seven will equal negative one, and then uh, so will six over seven. These are all quadratic non-residues. Yeah, uh, three, five, and six. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, that's it, and then of course seven over seven is going to be zero, um, right? The Legendre symbol uh, for uh, when a is seven and p is seven will equal zero by definition. Okay, cool. Like I said, many more videos to come on it, um, but this is it for defining it. Uh, keep watching. Take care.